If you visited any Valley Mall in the early 2000s, you might remember seeing adults and kids riding these cuddly, cute, rideable stuffed animals. And then we saw the opportunity outside of the malls as the uh, evolution of the business continued to grow and change. And so now we do everything outside of the malls at zoos and the guided tours, parties and events. Uh, my name is Shane Dolan. I'm one of the co-founders of Rideables. Rideables is technically it's a ADA compliant mobility scooter. We then skin them up with a variety of different covers. We do 50 year old birthday parties, seniors gone wild at the 55 and older communities, festivals, parades, birthday parties. So instead of a bounce house or something uh, that's, that is geared towards just kids, we'll bring the rideables to your home, uh, drop them off for a couple of hours, and you can use them you know, however, wherever you want to. All along through this, we've heard that having the rideables at the zoo would just be a natural, perfect fit, which we uh, saw and agreed with as well. Going to visit animals and riding around on an animal to, to do that. Uh, so it's been a great partnership here with the Phoenix Zoo, very popular. Weekends are very busy with the rideables, they'll all be rented out. It, it's a good way to get around and see the zoo. I know when I did it for the first time here at the Phoenix Zoo, I saw more of the zoo than I had ever seen before and, uh, and, and had a great time doing it as well. So it's a, it's a great partnership. We've got about 65 different covers that we've designed and we can do custom designs as well. It ranges from zoo animals to aquatic themed animals to unicorns and dinosaurs. We use a, a local company which is one of only two stuffed animal manufacturers left in the United States. Everybody else has gone overseas. So we use them to design and manufacture all of our skins by hand right here locally. So up in Scottsdale, we have a 90-minute narrated guided tour. They can be customized, but uh, there'll be 10 to 15 rideables in a parade going through about five miles worth of Old Town Scottsdale. Uh, photo op stops along the way as well, and a, usually a free gelato stop at the end of the tour, so it's kind of a party on wheels. It's kind of like being a rock star for about 90 minutes with everybody honking and waving and, and uh, watching the procession go by. For the guided tours in Old Town Scottsdale, we use saguaro cactus, pinatas, horses and cows. With the rideables, it's, it's all ages from little kids to grandparents. The smaller ones ride with adults. It's even dog friendly. We've had some dogs join us on the, on the guided tour as well. Adult, child, and canine approved. Rideables seems to bring out the kid in everyone. Just ride, smile, and repeat. There's something about music that brings people together. Even if that music is coming from one of these. The accordion is growing in popularity because people have just found out what a versatile instrument it really is. Yeah. Dionne Hauck grew up in her grandfather's music shop. When I was a kid, it wasn't cool to play accordion because that was like Lawrence Welk and the old folks' music. Enough time has passed by now where the stigma of that isn't attached to it anymore. People are going, wow, it's a portable keyboard. And I think everybody's like rediscovering it's a renaissance. It's coming back around. Dion owns Ziggy's Music Studio just north of downtown Phoenix, where they sell and specialize in accordions and other instruments. My grandfather was Ziggy. Yes, that's Ziggy Sardas, not Stardust, Sardas. He ended up here in Phoenix because he was on his way to California to find wealth and fame as an accordion player. He stopped here in the valley to visit his sister-in-law and uh, they figured they'd move on when it got a little cooler, and I guess it never did. <laughs> Soon Ziggy began selling all kinds of instruments and teaching Arizonans how to play them in 1927. For years and years, uh, when I was little, I met a lot of 
the customers coming and going through here. And then as I got older, I was meeting their kids. <laughs> and now I've got kids and grandkids of people who dealt with Ziggy that come in all the time. I grew up here in Arizona, I was born here, first generation of my family in Arizona. I lived two blocks from the store. Ziggy taught my mother to play accordion 65 years ago. And about 40 years ago, I bought my first guitar from Ziggy. This is an icon, this is an institution for me. It's part of my childhood. Dion ran the business after Grandpa Ziggy died in 1980 and inherited the shop in 1989 when her grandmother passed. I think the store is special because it's a third generation, family owned, family run business. And uh, we've always catered to the working musician and kids, people who want to learn music. So would Grandpa Ziggy be proud of his granddaughter? Ziggy's legacy continues without a doubt in this store. Uh, like I said, I've been friends with the family for a long time, and I see the ethic, and I see Ziggy and Dion.